We are back with Bill Cosby, not only an iconic comedian, actor, television producer, but also well known for his activism, especially when it comes to education. And I think um, you've gotten a lot of honorary degrees throughout your career, including one from RPI right here in Troy. <laughs> yes, but yeah. you did the hard work for a PhD yourself in education from UMass. It's what? an EDD. Mm -hmm. an ED <laughs> what, which, we're, we're foot soldiers. The PhDs are up in the towers. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> what made you decide to go back to school in your 30s? Uh, I, I just wanted to finish what I had to say. And uh, if you read my dissertation, you'll see that w what I'm talking about is using television to forward and aid uh, teachers and education. And I put in it Fat Albert and and some of the shows that I, I had ideas for. Now, Fat Albert, I loved, uh, but we were recalling both of our kids uh, love Little, Little Bill. Bill. And it's yes. the same thing, putting those educational messages out there yeah. through Little Bill. It's very, very lovely to have writers understand a child that age and and put it right on the button because little bill is different we we don't use grown ups making voices like this yeah. here for we use you know real people and when the, when the kid's voice changes we we move the kid <laughs> out and we voice. put another one in <laughs> by the way it it is not true that a mother can tell her own child's voice in in a crowded room You've it's not it. true mm -hmm. yeah from the different people who've come in you've always had such a special connection mm -hmm. with children and from the Cosby show and and Fat Albert and, and obviously little Bill is, is a wonderful project as well what do you think it is that helps you connect so well with children I'm not afraid of them uh, many people are <laughs> afraid of them and I'm not I, I also believe that they're not as innocent. You know, a lot of people, oh, I love them because they're, no, they're not. 